Okay, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2017, 4.49 p.m. Calling Jesse Elverud. Hello. Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, this is Terry. So uh, I got to ask you a couple of questions here. You got a couple of minutes? I guess. Okay. Anyhow, it's in regard to your case number 01CR1629, okay? I'm going to ask you a few questions here. Number one, what's the name of your attorney? Uh, Jeff Haberkorn. Okay. He's your public defender. Okay. Do you feel that you've had sufficient time to discuss your case with uh, Haberkorn? Yes or no? All together? Yeah. I mean, not really. Well, either yes or no. Like, I mean, like, I, I mean, he gives me time, but, like, he doesn't give me the answers I want. Okay. Well, I think you said this the last time you saw him, he's given you more time than any other time. Right. He was doing more for you this time than any other time. Right. Okay. So do you think that he's given you equal time each time, or all of a sudden after you filed the complaint, then he actually did something? Oh, uh, I mean, I think about it like half, we didn't even get a good a plea bar, a plea at all until we complaints went through. Okay, but I mean, you fired him how many different times? At least like twice. It was that one that was over the phone, and they won't let me or whatever. I don't know what the hell, but but you even witnessed that, so yeah. So in other words, you haven't been happy with them. I mean, before I well, came along. Well, no. Okay, so he, as far as you're concerned, did he? He didn't give you sufficient time prior to me coming along, then. No. Okay. Uh, I'm satisfied that, that Jeffrey Habercorn is has fully informed me as to the facts of this case, yes or no? He's fully informed me to the facts of this case? Yeah. I'm not sure what that like. Well, I mean, did he inform you that you could be filing sanctions against the county attorney? You don't oh, no. Okay. Did he uh, inform you that you could have the option of of having I uh, interactive video conferences instead no. of having to drive 90 miles one way? No. Did he uh, inform you that you could be requesting? Because uh, the latest thing now is that some of this dash cam video is missing, right? Isn't that what you said? Oh. Yeah, there's, there's also there's the other two dash cam from the other two squad cars. Right. Right. They, they don't exist, he said. Okay. Did he inform you that there's a way that you could find out whether that's a true or not statement? No. Okay. So he didn't tell you that uh, they keep records of like a, a pre-check before these officers go out on patrol, and if there's a no, problem. Okay. So. You don't feel then that he's informed you of how to get all your evidence in, or or the options that he could use to get your evidence. No. Okay. I mean, obviously that's why you filed the complaint, right? Because you didn't think he was doing his job, correct? Right. Okay. My attorney has discussed possible defenses to the crime that I may uh, I might have. Okay, well, I guess we kind of went over that, you know, about getting getting the evidence, you know, from the attorney or, or, or whatever. Uh, possible defenses. So, well, a defense is, you, is to have your evidence. And if you don't have your evidence, do you feel like you've gotten be, uh, able to uh, put on a full defense for your case? No. Okay. Okay, here, here is another question. I am satisfied that Jeffrey Habercorn has represented my interests as and has fully advised me? Well, no. Okay. Because if he isn't getting your evidence and he isn't filing sanctions against the county attorney, obviously he isn't, right? Right. Okay. Now I get a couple more questions here. 
uh, that except for the agreement between my attorney and the prosecuting attorney, no one, including my attorney, any police officer, prosecutor, judge, or any other person has made any promises to me or any member of my family or to any of my friends or an to any other persons in order to a obtain a plea of guilty from me. Wait, what was that? Okay. No one, including my attorney, any police officer, prosecutor, judge, or any other person has made any promises to me, to any member of my family, to any of my friends or other persons in order to obtain a plea of guilty from me. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Do you think that this, this, uh, this plea bargain is going to keep you out of prison? Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm. I think. I think it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to do, man. I, fuck. I'm stressed out. Well, I, I'm just asking. These are the questions they're going to ask you for the plea hearing. So I just want you to be thinking about this before you go in there. Okay. And instead of just, you know, giving some quick answers that you're going to regret later. Okay. No one, including my attorney, any police officer, prosecutor, or judge, or any other person has threatened me or any other member of my family or my friends or other persons in order to obtain a plea of guilty from me. Well, that'd be right. Okay, and how do you, how do you think that? Well, I, wait, no. Well, I just want you, no. if you think you... I don't you, know. I don't really understand the question. Uh, okay. Do you think that you not having your evidence has threatened the, your case? Oh, it might be. Well, yeah, it does. Okay, because if you don't have all your evidence, you can't put on a complete and full defense, right? Right, see, I don't understand that question. That's the problem. I, see, that's the thing on most of those, when you ask me stuff like that, I, I don't know what the hell it even means. Well... That's you why know, I, that's like no one made any promises to my family or me or what not. Well, no, I, I, I mean, I, well, that's what I'm saying. You know, the thing is, what what they'll do is like one of the one of their tricks is if you um, if you tell us what you know today, you can leave jail today. Okay, that's one of their promises. Which, if you confess to it, you aren't leaving jail. Okay, but it's just to trick you into confessing. So uh, I'm not saying that they did promise you anything. But, you know, that's, I'm just wanting you to think about this, you know. But if obviously they didn't say, hey, you know, you plead guilty to this and, and you don't have to worry about ever going to prison, that's what I'm saying. Well, no, I mean, it's, if I violate my probation. Okay, well, uh, I'm you not. You know, that I get violated and possibly it's up to probation officer. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. If they haven't made you any promises, then the answer is no. Okay, I'm not trying to put okay. words. In, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. Okay, but you obviously spontaneously said you felt threatened, so you were taking this plea deal. That's what you said. I mean, you know, I. Well, do you feel like I'm you're? I'm not 100 percent comfortable. You know, like. Well, do you feel like you're coerced? I feel in, like it's the. I feel like I almost have to, you know, in order to not go for 68 months. Okay. Well, that's my point. So, in other words, you you feel like you're coerced into doing this. This isn't your free will. This wouldn't be your first choice. Right, because I asked him, you know, I told him, and I was like, well, I feel, why do I feel like I'm just getting screwed over here, you know? Okay, well, then that isn't free like will. when this, you know, because of the fact that it should have been dropped. I know this, but like, this shit like this happens to me all the time where I get fucked over like this. You know, I ain't. Like, I'm not trying to fucking do anything, you know, fucking that's going to put me away for a long time. Well, I understand that. Like I said, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I just want your honest feelings. And if you don't feel like you've gotten properly represented, then that would be a threat to your safety and security because you aren't getting the proper defense. I mean, that's you aren't getting the advertised job. He isn't vigorously uh, defending your case. 
So if he isn't, if he's just sitting back doing nothing, then that's a threat to your safety and security, right? Right. I mean. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like when I was sitting in jail, even after I, you know I fired him once, and uh, all of a sudden he wasn't taking my calls because he wasn't my lawyer no more, and then. And then there was, uh, they appointed another one from Brainerd while I was calling him. And, well, and then I got a hold of them, and they said, well, he ain't your lawyer no more. He was. They appointed him for a minute, and then they gave you back to Jeff Fabricorn again. Okay. Do you remember what the other person's name was? No, it's was, it was all of Brainerd. Uh, okay. I would know it if I heard it. Okay. I don't have the list in front of me. Anyhow, that's uh, that's what I just wanted you, you know, so I get these thoughts, you know, so you start thinking about this, you know, because if those are your true answers, then if you're going to do your plea deal, then that's what you want to be saying up on the witness stand instead of, you know, just just saying anything just to, to appease them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So, I mean, if you because, were... Well, yeah, me telling them that, well, they couldn't even go through with it. Well, that's my point. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't accept that. Exactly. See? So, the thing is, you told me what your true feelings are, and that's something that they shouldn't be able to accept. Uh, but I've heard it, them doing it, though. So, you know, you, you can't always rely on them being trusting them to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but that's all I wanted to ask you, okay? So, again, this is entirely your decision, but I just wanted you to think about this prior to you going there and then them asking these questions, you're just rushing through them real quick, and then you just quickly give a quick answer without thinking about it, okay? Okay. So, you think about it. Again, if you want to change your mind, change your mind. If you don't want to change your mind, don't change your mind, okay? But I just wanted to ask you those questions. All right? All right. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Have a court offices. This is Dina. Hello, Dina. Can I speak with Jeff, please? Sure, and may I ask who's calling? This is Jesse Elvord. Okay, one moment. Hello, Jeff? Yes. Hello, this is Jesse Elvord. Yes, sir. Yes, well, I had sent you an email, detailed email to you and your boss about the audio and video recordings that I would need because they are my property and I would like them. What do you mean you would need? That I would need to prepare for trial. The pictures. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I don't know if I've gotten that email. When did you send it? Just now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I have to talk to. We normally don't provide the audios to the clients, so you can come in and listen to it if you want. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Well, I'll talk. To, I'll talk to my managing attorney and see if he'll allow me to mail them to you. But usually they don't, so then we'll respond. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you see, that's it's Jesse's property, and he wants his property no, now. I don't think you understand what I.
I just said, I am going to check with my managing attorney, and if he allows me to do so, I'm going to do so. No, no, no. It's it's his it's it's his property. No, 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 no. You listen to me. Okay. That's what I just said. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording the call too, so. And then we'll respond. I'm recording the call, so I hope you hope you keep continue to be a jerk on the phone. Because it's his property. You still there? Huh? He just hung up. Well, so, we call back then. That's so we're on hold right now. His phone thinks it's on hold. Yep. So it's on hold or not? Nope, it just hung up. Okay, well, we call back. And we tell... I'll take a look at your people's account. You're still really contracted. Are you Are you thinking that your uh, eyes are normally that contracted? Or yes. have you ever been told that before? Yes. Okay. Who, who's told you that? I don't know. All the other officers. Okay. Because, I mean, I've been falsely accused a lot by officers, so, I mean, it's, a, it's a, I'm not saying you're doing it. Okay. And to be honest with you, here's, here's my problem.